Welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're finally finishing off the cladding on all of our sheds. So I finally dropped the hammer, gone and bought some new feather edge boards so we can clad this shed. As you can see, just the weatherproof membrane and a few bits of lath on it at the moment. And we can also finish this one, which has been about a year now that we've had this gap on here. And the same at the other end there. Also got a bit of cladding to put along the front edge here and underneath the eaves of this. So then this shed is fairly sealed up then. And we're also going to clad the outside of our toilet. So if you're unfamiliar with how cladding works, it's basically an extra skin on the outside of whatever building you want to clad. This is now going to fully weatherproof it basically. This is sort of a sacrificial layer. So if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to be with your cladding rather than the building itself. And all you do is you run lath or thin bits of wood to create a bit of an air barrier in between your outer surface of your building, which we've already weatherproofed with a membrane as well. And then you simply do that, put your featherboard on or whatever you want to clad with, screw it in on your lath to connect it. First step then, move all of these out of my boot so I can actually get to my tools and crack on. First thing then, I'm gonna cut lots of three foot lengths to go on the end of here. One bit all done. I forgot how quick this stuff goes in once you get going. Next then, that bit down there. So the gap on this end is just over four feet. And I just want to get that out a tiny bit so I can slide one in behind it. So we can start at the same level on the bottom, same as you've done the other side, keep it all roughly the same pattern all the way along. Oh, it's cracked up. Done. Now we're on to the egg shed. So first of all, I've got to cut lots of bits of lath to go down here, all the way around this. Let's crack on. What happens when you use a blunt Stanley knife? I'm just going to cut a couple of these into 220 centimeter lengths and then stick them on the shed. We'll see where we're at. I think I'll probably need about six or seven. So I've got all the lath on all of this shed now. Next step, smash out loads of different size featherboard, stick it all over this. <laughs> Thank you. 
managed to get all this end done fairly quickly. Managed to get above this window looking all right as well with sort of the offcuts I've used all along the top edge here. So this shed and this front corner all done. Just got this edge down here to go. Basically ran out of bits of featherboard, haven't I? So yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some more to finish that off. And then yeah, just got to trim these bits of lath. And this area is all done, looking nice and smart. Just wrapping up here. Getting a nice flyby from the uh, RAF. Three Chinooks passing over the village. So I'll crack on with this piece down here off camera. You don't need to see me putting any more of these bits of wood on. I guess if you've never done this before, you get the idea now. You put your lath down, spaced out evenly, and then you put your featherboard on. Don't do what I've done generally and just leave a four foot gap because you'll get a bit of a wobble. It doesn't really matter for us. But if you're going to have any kind of interaction with this wood at all, you're going to want to make it stronger than that. Just put one in the middle, that'll work. So, pretty pleased with how it looks. Not too bad for an afternoon and a morning's work. I think that'll be it for this video then. I'll finish off the rest of the cladding on the toilet in a separate video in part two of the off-grid toilet build. Let me finish off all the inside as well. Right then, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.